In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to use custom input masks in WordPress forms. You can add a custom input mask to any single line text field after you've added this field type to your form. When users click in this form field on the front end, they'll see an underscore or blank for each required character to help guide their input. To do this, we'll be using the WP Forms plugin to create forms for our website. First, we'll install the plugin. So, in your dashboard, go to Plugins, then click on Add New. In the search bar, type WP Forms and press Enter. This is the plugin. Click on Install Now to start the installation. As you can see, this plugin has a very good rating, and here you can see it's also compatible with our version of WordPress. Once the plugin is installed, this button changes to activate. Click on it to activate the plugin. Now, go to WP Forms on your dashboard and click on Add New. Here we'll create a new form. So, give this form a title here. And then select the blank form option. I'll just close this. Now we'll start creating a form. But if you need help creating a contact form in WordPress using WP Forms, we have a video explaining how you can do that too. I'll link it in the description below, or you can also click on the eye icon on the top right corner of your screen to view the video. Now let's start by adding a single text field on this form. Just drag and drop the field here. Click on the field to edit it. You can change the label from here. I'll just write zip here. Click on advanced settings. And here you have the input masks option. Here I'll write 9999 for the zip input field. Now let's add another field. This one is for the phone number. Move on to the advanced settings, and in the input masks option, I'll enter the phone number in the US format. Now let's add one more field for the email address here. For this field, the input mask will look something like this. Now click on save to save the form. And let's preview the form. As you can see, the input masks for each field appear as I go onto that field. This is how you can use custom input masks in WordPress forms. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one.